jumping into Timeless for a second, uh, yeah. I watched every episode. I was a huge fan of the show. Um, I couldn't believe the twists and turns in real life. They were more dramatic than the show yeah. in terms yeah. of whether or not it was going to go. Um, can you sort of talk about, do you think that Timeless is definitely over or do you think there's a chance down the road that something could happen? Um, you know, nothing's completely over. Nothing ever really dies, Stephen. You know, I don't know if Timeless is completely and totally gone forever. Um, the I don't think there's going to be a series. I mean, I think that's, I don't see anyone, you know, we really tried to get someone else to pick it up and I just didn't, don't think that's going to happen. But, um, but uh, there's always a possibility of more of these um, TV movies. I know um, the actors are game to do it. Um, and, you know, Sean and I have, I can't say we've talked about it a lot, but we've, you know, chatted back and forth in emails and we said, we should, you know, one of these days we should do a, we should do a, try to get another timeless TV movie going. So, um, you know, I don't think it's, I don't, we don't have any immediate plans for it. Everyone is busy and working on all their various projects, but you know, one day it might happen. That's, I've always wondered that if, why can't more shows that are beloved by fans get like a Saturday night movie of the week, you know? <laughs> um, and obviously I know there's a lot of contracts and all that has to be worked out, but it just seems like it's just such an easy way to like see these characters again. It's like the two hour movie. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, um, I mean, to answer your question, it's logistically incredibly difficult. I mean, even doing that last movie was a lot because you know, you're compiling a, you know, you're the timeless or in a lot of series are written, just even the writing are written by writer's rooms. And so you're trying to compile a writer's room, not for 10 episodes or 12 episodes or 20 episodes, but for one two hour movie, two episodes in effect. And so trying to get your writers even available to come back and, and do it and then trying to get your actor schedules available and, you know, what the reason we're able to mount, you know, such production value on timeless is you, you build, you know, the huge sets, but then you like live in a lot of them all season, but for a two hour movie, suddenly you're building new things just for, you know, that hour and you're still on your TV budget. So it, it, I mean, yes, I would love to do it. And I thought it turned out great, but like, I have to say that was, those episodes were probably the most logistically challenging uh, of any we had done. So um, I think the will is there. I think everyone in general behind the scenes, even the studio executives, I find who, even the guys and, and girls who canceled the shows, they're always, like they always genuinely love the show and they're rooting for it. There's no evil executive somewhere being like, ah, I'm so happy to cancel this. It's like, it's like a, a painful call comes to them from someone in some corporate, you know, tower somewhere and tells them the numbers don't add up and they're going to have to cancel it. And they, they always call you like genuinely scrambling to try to find a way to keep you alive. Um, and uh, so everyone, you know, it's, like I, I think for all these shows, I'm sure the will is there, but the, um, the financials and the logistics are just really, really challenging. I also watched Revolution. Clearly, I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. um, Dude, and, thank you. You're, you're. It's like you and my mom. You're like, you're yeah. like the fan. Thank you. I, I, I don't know what to say. So I, I, I mean, listen. I, I watched every episode, but one of the things that I have found is that, and 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 I really want to get into this real quick. Is that um, so? So Revolution, high concept show. Um, and you guys had to do 20 episodes in the first season. I think you were aiming for 22, but it was 20. I, I firmly believe that these high concept shows on network TV that are forced to do 20 episodes essentially kill these shows because they cannot, it's really hard to write these things. And I think something like Revolution, if it was a 10 or 13 episode show, would have been a, a really kick-ass 10 or 13 episodes. Mm -hmm. So what is it going to take for the networks to realize that they cannot do 20 episodes a year of high concept television because they kill it in the first year? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, one, I completely agree with you. I, I feel like um, uh, we just couldn't sustain that story over 20 episodes. I found that to be, those two years, to be the hardest 
of my professional life, both in terms of creatively trying to keep that ball in the air um, in that format. And, and then on top of that, it's just even trying to produce a show that ambitious to do 20 episodes of it was just so insane. Um, you know, I mean, I think to answer your question uh, is, I think they're getting it. Um, I think this is a, I think 2020 is a way different world than the 2012, 2013 that revolution was on the air. I think, um, you know, at that time, uh, you know, networks still had a model that were working for them. It worked on supernatural. Like we never, it never occurred to us to do less episodes of say something like supernatural. And frankly, when we got picked up for 20 episodes of revolution or 22, it never occurred to us to say, you know, oh, we should ask for less. Uh, it just wasn't done at that time often. Um, there were cable shows, obviously, and there were, you know, the beginning of streaming, um, but uh, but not in the world, you know, not in the neighborhood we were in, which was, you know, the broadcast network neighborhood. Um, I think now, um, I think they're much better about, you know, uh, understanding that there needs to be um, you know, limited orders and that they have to program all year round instead of everything coming up in the fall. Um, so I think things are changing for the better, but, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I agree. That was a show, um, that I've said it in many other places. Uh, so you're completely right. I'm like, that's a show that had no business being on broadcast television. Um, and, um, but, you know, it was what it was, and that's the way it broke out, and, um, sure. you know, and uh, lesson learned. Um, look, I mean, I, I thought NBC, you know, they spent money on that show. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Just too many episodes in season one, but let's get I mean, into it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and by the way, like, uh, uh, my, I have now the same bosses on The Boys that I had on Revolution and Timeless. I, uh, Jen Salky and Vernon Sanders, who left NBC to run Amazon. And like, continue, like, that's what I mean. Like, like, yes, those two shows, Revolution and Timeless didn't ultimately go the distance, but like, they were, they loved the shows, both of them, and they fought so hard for both of them. And um, I'm just, you know, I'm really happy to be, uh, you know, we're really happy to be back in business with them. 